Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Check this video out with Cody Sanchez. Once you can see the matrix that money is comprised of, it's really hard to think that you will ever go broke again because you understand how the zeros and ones are connected in the same way that an engineer understands how to build a website, and I do not. And you can't unlearn that ability to build a website once you've learned it. And I think you can't unsee the matrix once you've seen it with money. Most of people's pursuits through life should be to just start to see the matrix on one thing because there's not a material difference between a couch as a transaction and a house as a transaction once you understand the language and the code of deals. The part that I found interesting is until people can see that first level of the matrix, they might as well be Russian and French. Getting people to understand frameworks is so much harder than getting people to follow steps. Mm. People love to say, okay, how do I close this client? Well, I do an open end here and a closed end here, and then I do a circle loop. And they want to hear that there's steps one through 12. And the truth of it is, is that there's no steps one through 12. Just can you learn the frameworks of money and then you'll never be broke again. I think that's really the only skill that matters. First off, I want to say I'm jealous of Cody Sanchez, not for, I mean, beautiful, intelligent lady, all that, very successful. Her ability to articulate is second to none. I mean, she just put something very complex and made it elementary. Just how she just articulated that segment there that's the part i'm jealous of her ability to articulate is i believe second to none i, I mean her mosey he has that ability also um uh, it's a couple of them out there di for financial uh uh financial peace i'm messing i'm messing up this channel but di talk financial freedom that one that's uh he's very good also but just how she articulated that and I mean, she articulated it in a way that even somebody who has an eighth, ninth grade education could understand the framework of what she's saying. They probably still don't understand, you know, how to get out the rat race, but how she said it makes sense of giving them information that they need to learn, so, uh, to learn for. Um, with that, I gave all my heaps of praises. So Alex, what do you say about the video? Yeah, I think how you just said it was uh, very well put, because when I was watching the video at first, that was the first thing I thought of was like what she was talking about was so complex, like you said, and the way that she was wording it just laid it out like it was easy to understand. It wasn't like trying to figure out if does she mean this or that. And we get that from a lot of videos, especially maybe some that we react to, like. You could take it in different ways, but with this video is very straight to the point, and that was very well said to like someone that may not um, understand investing or hasn't started their financial journey yet. I think that's the best way that you could explain it the way she did. It might as well be Russian and French, especially like as she said, because it's it's like right. a different language. Like people, when it comes to finance, like especially, I'm sure you've uh, experienced this, like talking to people about finance and things we might do financially um they don't do for example i, I remember explaining to one person um who's telling me well why don't you you know do what you want on a credit card and then use the points to uh you know do those things again or repeat those things like use the points basically to pay for it and I said, well, I, what I do is I use my money to invest. And then I'm, you know, the goal is to get my investments to basically pay for those things. And he was like, you're just overthinking. <laughs> I was like, no, that's, that's how it is. But like that language barrier per se, like people don't, they don't understand that. Or, I mean, it was just great how she laid it out. You know, it's like building a website. I don't know how to build a website, but to someone who has already done it, they just understand it. It's not complicated for them. Right. And, and now just on the subject matter that she brought up, I, you know, agree with her, of course, but once, once you understand the framework and she said it, the part that she said that hit home for me was once you understand how the matrix operates, you never have a fear of going broke again. Cause you just need to know the framework of, how money works. I mean, no matter what you do or where you're at, if you go broke, you always can see opportunities in places where 
you can make money again. I mean, that is a strong, very, very strong uh, statement that was made. And it's so true. When I was coming up and I was looking like, how can I get my first, you know, $5,000, $10,000? I was lost in the sauce. Like, how do these people do it? How do these people do it? But now it's like, all right, they're going to opportunity. They're going to opportunity. I, I, and still to this day, when I talk to people, I'm like, hey, well, why don't you do this? It's because I see the opportunity because I see the framework of, you know, how money is made and how the matrix operates and how to make money. So when I tell somebody that they're doing something like, oh, they can make a lot of money off this. They look at me like, huh, what are you talking about? This is because they have no clue on how money's made. They don't understand supply, demand, uh, profit margins and things of that nature of how it all works. Don't understand that we are assumption uh, economy. We consume everything. And how putting uh, putting a platform together or putting something together and pushing it off to the uh, masses will generate revenue just by doing it in a certain structure. Those are, the, that's the like, the American bread and butter, how you get people because majority of Americans, I mean, really the world, we all are consumers. They consume. So the only thing you got to do is have a product for them to consume. But mainly in America, we consumers, we're not producers. So you just got to have a product that they consume, no matter if it's electrician, no matter if it's construction, no matter if it's uh, somebody who gets in their car and somebody calls you and say, come pick me up and take me somewhere else. Uber. I mean, it's just understanding what people want, how to make their life more efficient or easier, and then create a product around it, and it will drive up demand. And drive up demand means drive up revenue. Drive up revenue means put more money in your pocket. But I, I love the video. That's, But I'm not going to keep jumping on the soapbox about this, but I love the video that she had put out. Yeah, I think that's a key point to what you're saying because it's not just learning finance. It's also right. learning people and consumers. And that's something I'm working on is learning the psychology behind people and understanding people. Kirby says, I got to go out more. So that's what I'm trying to do. But it's mm -hmm. it's true. I mean, like, for example, um, a friend of mine who does a lot of e-commerce, he understands marketing. We were in a Lowe's and he was like, he's like, oh, the other week, the laundry detergent was at this end, but now it's on this end. Like for me, that's something that I probably wouldn't have picked up on if I was shopping at a Lowe's, right? And he's like, do you know why they do that? It's because now that it's on this end, they have to come through the whole aisle and maybe they'll grab something on the way. And it was just like interesting. I was like, okay, yeah, that's a cool point. I People but like people really aren't looking at that stuff. They're just like, oh, where's my product? What do I have to, you know, what am I looking for? And I mean, um, look at Walmart, look at Walmart. Mm -hmm. I mean, forget Walmart. Look at any grocery store. The item that you use every day, milk, cheese, eggs, butter, it's in the back of the store. Why is it in the back of the store? Because they want you to go through the whole store because they know most people are going to buy cheese, eggs, milk, bread. So it gives you the opportunity to walk through the rest of the store to put up everything else in your cart. The most expensive thing, their highest profit margin things are in areas where kids can grab. The candy bars, all the little toys and trinkets by the cash register. Because it's right there at kids' eye level. Because you know they be in a the cart grabbing and pulling. It's all, once you understand people, then you can understand how to manipulate the situation. Or once you, in Cody's reference, once you understand the framework of money, there's always an opportunity to make it. Always an opportunity. I literally wake up and go outside and be like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean... Simple thing is, hey, I need to cut my grass in the morning. Oh, well, other people need to cut their grass in the morning. So if I go around and get people to cut their grass, and I'm just telling you, this exercise is a simple one. If I go cut people's grass and I get 20, 30, 40 contracts and I grow it to 100 contracts, and I just keep making the money off of cutting the grass, the only thing I'm paying, I'll put maintenance for the lawnmower. I'm doing it myself. So maintenance for the lawnmower and gasoline. And then I just keep saving that over time or keep growing the contract. Then I can go buy, I can use that capital to go buy somebody else's lawnmower company. So it didn't, and then so I just acquire all of their contracts, keep doing it, 
buy another somebody else's lawnmower company and acquire the contracts that they already have on hand. So instead of going door to door knocking, which I will eventually my team will get big. I have salespeople going out there doing door to door, but then I just keep acquiring lawnmower uh, businesses and I can grow my base. And then next thing you know, this is a hundred thousand million dollar a year uh, project. But once you understand the framework or how it all works, you always see opportunities everywhere you go. Yeah, especially like how she was talking about, um, like she made the comparison between couches and like real estate. Like in the end, it's just a deal. And um, I know that's something you actually had told me with uh, my first property. You were like, there's no difference between you making a deal with this and making a deal with like selling antiques. And at the time I was like, but it's, I was like, it's a house though. And then, but looking at it, honestly, like if you're going to sell, let's say like a very expensive antique, you still want to run it through different experts and different collectors that are very knowledgeable. And then maybe even get an appraiser, so the same thing pretty much like, so in the end, like once you get more familiar with closing a deal on real estate, it, that's all it is. It's just talking to them and negotiating prices and then, okay, you're in the contract and now you get an inspector, you get an appraiser and all that. So yeah, so it's it's just learning that language. Yeah. So Cody Sanchez, I salute you. Um, she is the one that really got me focused on boring businesses, even though I was already buying boring business, but I never looked at it as buying, keep focusing and acquiring on boring business, how profitable they will make you on a larger scale. She was the first person who get to bring my awareness to that. Um, her way to articulate is second to none. And what she's doing as an uh, entrepreneur, uh, business owner, she owns, I believe, and don't shoot me down, Cody Sanchez fans were wrong. I believe she owns 26 businesses, boring businesses. That's why I love it. Um, but yeah, but the video itself was amazing. Uh, of course, it's going to go over 85% of people's heads, but the people that listen and start focusing on uh, that aspect of how money works, they will see money everywhere. I mean, literally see money everywhere. With all that being said, Alex, do you got anything else to add to this or you good? Okay. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in. Listen to the, me and Alex run our mouths like we uh, we in awe of the next financial goddess on earth. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like the video. See you in the next one.